Okay, it's a three and two. Let's take. Let's put a check on the king. Let's develop the knight. Let's attack the king again. It's a momentary bit of pressure. Let's attack the pawn. And the opponent's resigned. Okay, that was a pretty quick one. Um, sometimes you can put the fear into the opponent, especially you know if you're the one moving real quick and you look like you're finding positive positions. But if they spent a little bit of time, you'll probably find that really this is not that fantastic a position. I'm going to have a look at the analysis. And let's just pop that on. So if you have a look, it's only plus 0 0.5, which as you know, that's neither here nor there. So realistically, you know, just because the opponent, they look like they're doing something devastating. It, there's no real reason to kind of resign or feel like you're losing. Um, my queen has done all the work. My pieces haven't developed yet. He's got like three nice little pieces already developed so really I'd give it to them I know the computer's got a slight edge for white but in reality there are things that they can do so things to think about maybe potentially just bringing the bishop here because the rook is already protected by the queen so small things like that little things like that you know take time and just assess the board I'm trying to do that when the opponents actually come blasting at me and it looks like, oh my gosh, they're, they're, they're actually winning. But nine times out of ten, we're finding that one, if we take a breath, have realistically look at the position on the board, is it that devastating? Because they've probably overextended and left weaknesses in other areas that you can take advantage of.